hello welcome to my channel um i'm going to share to you if or ask you if is being good will make you go to heaven um a lot of people like hindu buddhist muslim christian catholics lgbtq people are claiming to be good so does it mean we will all go to heaven um also if you think about this like many politicians um they are good on election they they do a lot of good things in the community but their motive some of them their motive are to win the election some people who are rich people like people who are rich they can easily donate one million two million three million to charities so does it mean they are good and will go to heaven some atheists they are also claiming to be good and they think they don't need god to be good they can just be good and go to heaven and they don't need god but according to the bible the bible is a holy scripture it's a word of god and this is most published but the bible not this one but most bible is the bible not most the bible is the most published book in the whole generation the whole world and the whole entire creation of the world <laughs> and it is most translated it got a lot of translations in many many different languages and it's alive the word of god is alive and active and he said the flower will fade and everything will fade but not his word of god not his word not the word of god anyway we'll trust this book to teach us if about that question if we if good people will go to heaven so according to romans First of all, we need to admit that we are a sinner. Because if we will not admit that we are a sinner, how can we be saved? Like, you need to admit that you have disease. So, you will go to the doctor to get some relief from your disease. Something like that. How can you go to those people if you don't admit to yourself that you are sick something like that admit that you are a sinner anyway we'll go to romans 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 matthew mark luke john acts romans romans is romans three twenty three. Where is that? Romans. I'll show you because maybe you will think that I'm lying. Romans 3, 23. Romans 3, 3 there. And that's Romans 3, 23. Where is that 23? 23. All of us have sinned and fallen short of glory of God. So, according to the Bible, all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. No one never sinned. All of us sinned. All of us are sinner. And Romans 6.23, according to the Romans 6.23, 
show you Romans 6 23 22 23 sin pays off with death but God's gift is eternal life given by Jesus Christ our Lord so repeat sin pays off with death so ang kasalanan daw if we sin it means will pay it off with death will die will go to hell something like that but but there is a but but god's gift is eternal life given by jesus christ our lord there's a but sabi nga god said and it's a gift it's a gift gift is something that you you didn't ask for gift is something you didn't ask you didn't buy you didn't give someone someone money to give you a gift gift is freely given from the heart something like that and if we sin, the wages of sin is death. So, lahat tayo, all of us will die because all of us sin. And Romans 5.8 Okay, I'll repeat that Romans 6. Ayan, Romans 6 6.23 ba kasi maybe because you don't believe 6 Romans 6 23 sin pays off with death but God's gift is eternal life given by Jesus Christ our Lord so we'll go back to Romans 5 Romans 5 8 5 8 but God showed how much he loved us by having Christ die for us even though we were sinful. See? Christ died for us even we are sinful. It's very hard to, you know, to do that. To die. It's hard to die for your for your enemy. Like for example, they are mocking you and doing all those bad things to you. And then suddenly, they are in trouble, like drowning. And then you will save them. You know, it's save them, knowing that if you save them, they'll mock you again or maybe kill you. It's hard to do that. But Jesus, Jesus, even we are still sinner, he died for us we'll read it again to be sure okay it's here romans 5 8 where is 8 5 6 8 but god showed how much he loved us by having christ die for us even though we were sinful see christ is his only son imagine you only have one son and then you send him you don't have son anymore if if something happened to your son by saving the sinner imagine how painful it is for god to send his only son if you have other sons that's fine okay you go but Jesus is his only son and he sent him to save us. That's how much he, God loved us. Salvation, he saved us even though we are still sinners. And salvation is not based on our goodness. So that is the answer. Salvation is not... Excuse me. Excuse me. Bless me. God bless me. 
Salvation is based is not based on our goodness, but on Jesus' goodness. Jesus Christ is the only good person slash God in the whole universe, the whole world, because Jesus is both God and human being. He He's the only good. Salvation is not based on our goodness because whatever good we do, we still have that bad motive in our back. And whatever good we do, it's still not good enough. Even though we do all the good things in the world, if it's for us, it's not good enough. Our goodness need to be because of God, like our motive because of God. We're doing this because of God, not because I want to win the election or I want to run the election or I want to to win uh, someone, to impress someone. Not like that. Our goodness need to be because of God. We do it because of Jesus, because He saved us. That's why He we become good. Something like that. Not we are good, so we save. We are saved. That's why we do good. You know what I mean? Like that. Anyway, we need to think about that. Anyway, here. In Romans 10, 9, I'll read to you. Romans, Romans 5, 6. Romans chapter 8. Romans Romans 10 Romans 10 Romans 10 number 9 verse 9 verse 9 so you will be saved if you honestly say Jesus is Lord and if you believe with all your heart that God raised him from death again Romans 10 verse 9 so you will be saved if you honestly say jesus is lord and if you believe with all your heart that god raised him from death so you will be saved my pagkasa pa there is a hope we will be saved if there is a if again if we honestly say Jesus is Lord. We need to honestly say that like if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord in other version. Like we need to honestly say it. It's really hard to say things that is not from our heart. But the Bible say we need to confess that Jesus is our Lord. Something like that. You need to say it our lord and lord is something that you you follow like uh you know if there is a ruler whatever the law in the land in australia we follow the law that what the what the law in australia or if we go to philippines we follow what's something like that a lord is something that you you obey what they say something like that we say that jesus is our lord we say that jesus is our lord and if you believe with all your heart that god raised him from death we need to believe in our heart that jesus was raised jesus raised by god from death because sometimes you will have this doubt in your heart. Sometimes you will have this doubt in your heart that this is crazy. This is stupid. Something like that. That, you know, you need to really believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Because imagine three days that Jesus is was dead in the 
in the the coffin something or the there and he he came to life again after three days sometimes if you use your mind it is impossible because you know the blood will stop and all those things and you will start to rot or to you start to decompose in the first maybe four 24 hours but jesus he went alive he resurrected after three days you need to believe that in your heart that jesus was raised by god from death it's not from sleeping not from from wherever you need to really believe it in your heart sabi sa bible in your heart not in your mind but in your heart you need to have faith about that and there you will be saved if you do that if you do this we'll read it again okay in romans 10 verse 9 where is 9 where is 9 7 so you will be saved if you honestly say jesus is lord and if you believe with all your heart that god raised him from death see see that that's how you will be saved you will not you will not be saved by your own goodness and righteousness but by by um saying in your word that jesus is lord and believing in your heart that jesus jesus was raised by god from death believe with all your heart that god raised him from death you need to do that because that's where the faith comes from and faith will save you anyway and in romans 6 23 again did we go there already in romans 6 23 again romans 6 23 where are you sin pays off with death but god's gift is eternal life given by jesus christ our lord so the salvation that was said in romans 10 9 is a gift you cannot force yourself to say that jesus is lord you cannot force yourself to believe in your heart that god raised jesus from the dead because it's a gift from god that was said here if you have that faith that you that jesus believe that jesus was raised by god from death it's a gift to you by god you didn't force it you didn't force to believe you didn't force to confess that jesus is lord it is a gift of god that is said that is said here in romans 23 sin pays off with death but god's gift is eternal life given by jesus christ our lord and also here in ephesians 2 8 9 